So mobile phone cases can be very different out there. You want maybe a nice smart option. You might actually want something a bit rugged. This one looks very rugged. So you'll see I'm gonna actually change the case. Now these are a couple of old phones that I do use. And right here you can see this one actually has a few extra built-in options. You can do that. And you've got a nice little standing camera. And again, this would normally be on your bed or somewhere soft. So you can see you can actually lock it in place like that. So there's a good angle for me to view it. Um, in terms of size, how big would it be? You can see that's the phone. I can easily close that and lock it but it actually still remains quite slim. So if I show you that again here, that is quite slim design. Now it's rugged in the corners. So what normally happens if you drop it, you tend to hit the corners. Corners have got extra protection, got all the key components visible and obviously the fingerprints available and the lens there as well. In terms of putting it on and taking it off, it is quite rigid. So now if I'm taking that off, you can see here, it's quite difficult to take off. Keep that in mind. Let me just take it off just to show you what I mean. Because it's so rigid, it's gonna keep your phone nice and secure. So you see, I just popped it out there there you go and the inside of it's got a nice grippy environment as well it's, a bit, it's not too flexible but it's got a nice seal so i'm comfortable with how it fits on you can see it actually comes in two parts so if you wanted to you could take the outer section off such as this so it's actually a two-step process you've got a silicon case there which will be nice and easy and then you've got the actual main template back here which is the the tire type effect rigid system so you can put it in on in two parts you can put the bottom section on first because it will be easier you basically put it on like so just like that and then you can clip this onto the back making sure it's the the right way around just like this and then it just locks into place holding everything together so you can see that there so if you have trouble putting this on that's basically a quick tip put it on in two parts and this is locked for a reason excellent bought another phone i had a samsung a21s that i was testing out and of course getting a phone you will want a case even though it looks that nice and amazing i still need a case for it so in terms of cases i ordered one of them newer ones so here this case actually comes with a little i love i do like that so it's got a little i keep forgetting what you call these now so okay with the case i did get a screen protector and the case is a nice robust one so you can see there's loads of case options out there the best thing here is obviously you can flip it out and use it as a stand as you would want to if you're watching any films or doing anything on the phone because phones are very uh, capable these days so you can actually do a number of things on them so that it fits really nicely you can see here so i'm going to show you that quickly there so that's how it feels it looks nice and rugged so with my phones i do use them quite a bit and they do take a knocking so it's always nice to have a case that was a quick look at the case i'm going to put a screen protector on here next and see if i can do it without getting any bubbles on it okay so a quick little video here to show you how to put a screen protector onto your phone screen protectors come in different colors uh, uh, different sizes and different options sometimes you get screen protecting cases free with your phone so that's something normally worth considering so i'm just making sure that we will be okay in terms of sizing and that should be all right what i will do now is take off the old screen protector and put on a new one and give it a good clean in the process as well there we go so that's the old screen protector which you did not see at all come off you can see there with that screen does need a good clean so we've got some isopropyl alcohol and we're going to give it a good wipe and get rid of all the old residue just so we have a nice clean surface when we put the new careful with it you want to make sure that the case you're using is on the phone so you don't end up having issues there so again i'm going to be very careful with this and make sure we get everywhere Hopefully you can see see that there we go and there's gonna be a lot of little bits on there which we want to get rid of so i've got a number of cloths here that was cloth number one now i've got a chamois type cloth just to get rid of anything at all so now i can see there are certain bits with a bit more little tiny specks of dust we don't want those because what will happen is when you have those on the phone it will cause it to bubble so I'm gonna just give that a wipe. I might do it another wipe as well, with another cloth. Okay, so let's just make sure we've got some more isopropyl alcohol. And it's gonna give it a nice clean. The cleaner it is now, the easier it will be to get the screen on without any bubbles. So keep that in mind when you're doing this. I'm gonna use the cloth that they supply with it. Okay, hopefully you can see I'm being quite persuasive with this. There we go. So now that's more or less good as new. Even the smallest piece of dust will be an issue, okay. Okay, there's a few little specks here. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. So it's just a case of being patient, taking your time with it and making sure you're inspecting everything. Okay, there we go. Perfect. So now we're ready. Okay, so next up we've got the case itself. It's marked in two positions. Please peel off this mask after application completed. And we've got the red one as number one, upper protector. So now we're going to take this 
Hopefully you can see that. Take this off. Okay, here we go. Number one. Be very careful with this. You don't want to touch it ideally. Okay, here we go. And then we're gonna go on the phone. We're gonna line it up. I normally line up the top first. So let's go. There we go. Just letting that sit. And it's gonna take out all the little bubbles. Okay, so we'll use that and we'll make basically a little ball that we can pressurize on the screen. So now I've got a nice little ball there. So basically we're just gonna get squeeze the bubbles out of one side. There we go, we're slowly working them out. There's a few bubbles here, but they're gonna be worked out and we're gonna have a nice bubble free application. Yeah, just work them out. There we go. There were quite a few bubbles there. I could have gone from one side to the other. However, the way I'm doing it is basically pushing them out from one corner. And that works very well with screens. It's just be persistent with it and take your time. Sometimes what happens is there's a slight bit of dust which still is present and that can be an issue. So now we're going to peel off this. The stickers are normally not very good on these because you end up lifting everything back up again. Here we go. Oh, here it's coming. It's coming. There we go. So that's that gone. Second piece is gone. Get rid of those little bubbles that reappeared because they're sometimes if the quality of the applicator is not that good, even the screen, if it's too thin, the protector, then it will cause a bit of bubbling. Not too bad. Could have been better, but that's not a bad attempt. Screen protector applied. When you buy cases, you get different types of brands. They have that different qualities. This is a wallet type. This is for my P30 Pro. Now you can see here that it's like a leathery type material and we've got a little bit of a form insert in there. I like that's a case there you can see. So you can actually use it as such with your phone in there as well. You can see that hopefully. Bit of a hinged material here. It's got nice gold stitching. There's a few different color options and variants available. You can put some money in here depending on your currency. An ID card right here. A few more cards because when you close the case you don't want it to be too bulky so you can see the back of it here and you've got your inserts for your camera and your lights your flash so overall I, I like the feel of this material it's very nice and luxurious there's a few color options available in these but this one is particularly nice especially with the button section here so I'm just having an inspection of the case itself so you can see exactly how it looks and how it feels so here you can see that's the setup right about there I do like that little insertion there as well. So if you've got your mic, you can close it and actually speak because you can hear through that mic section there. 